Cameron Fontana is out at the convention center at the Origins Game Fair this morning. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, Adam and Maria. And I got to tell you, it is going to be such a fun morning here on Good Day Columbus because we are at the Origins Game Fair and we are at the Greater Columbus Convention Center. Behind me in this room right here is one of the main halls where there are hundreds of vendors here where you can come check out pretty much any type of game you can think of. You can see they have Battletech games, Catalyst games, and one of the main sponsors, Mayfair games, all types of board games, role-playing games, miniatures. And then in the next room over, just as big a hall as this one, there there are tables where people can come in and play all these types of games. So you buy your pass for the event, then you come in and you can spend hours here playing some games maybe you've never played before or some of your favorites. So all morning long, we're going to be checking out a lot of these games, a lot of the people that are coming here, and a lot of the vendors like this sweet battle axe. Look at this, but don't worry, it's not real. Haha. -ha. It's fake, but people use it in some of the role-playing games. So we'll check out some of these later on. We might bring some back to you, Adam and Maria. Would you like one of these? Yeah, but keep it away from Phil. <laughs> I don't trust Phil. Yeah, he might get that. too crazy with it. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. It looks like he's in his element there. He does very well in these sort of things. We'll see how he does. Thanks, Cam. We've got a way to get out of the house. Gamers get excited because good day is Cameron Fontana is at the Origins Game Fair this morning. Hey, Cam. You get shotgun. Two shots? Two shots. That's Two shots. Beautiful. Good morning, Adam and Maria. We are at the convention center for the Origins Game Fair. With me is the executive director, John Ward. How are you, sir? Good, Cameron. How are you this morning? Good. We're having a great... We're already playing games, and it's only, you know, 7.15. Early is early. What, what's the name of this game right here? Uh, Zombie Side. Zombie Side. So one of the most popular games are... or flooding this whole room is zombie games, correct? There's a lot of zombie stuff out right now with the popularity of Walking Dead and other shows like that. So uh, that's a cool IP and uh, properties are coming across to a lot of our companies. So tell us, how long has this event been going on? Is this the first year? We've been in the uh, Origins Game Fair has been in Columbus for 17 years. Wow. So it's a citywide event and Columbus is a wonderful host for us. Why is it a great idea, not only for you know young gamers or gamers that have been playing a long time, for people to bring their kids out, it's a great event for the family. Tell about that. Very family friendly event. We have all sorts of uh, games that range for kids all the way to adults. Uh, a lot of good things to sit down with children. I know my son's seven, so when we're playing games, he really doesn't realize that he's adding, subtracting, using math, <laughs> cognitive <laughs> so, reasoning. So they're still having some school and education in the summer, right? Exactly. It's a smart thing. And a lot of fun, very social too, for families to get together and play games together. So, things going on today, we have this entire expo room right here with all the vendors. Next door, people can play their games. What are, how does that work? So, uh, companies will be set up running tournaments in there, national tournaments. Mayfair Games is running a tournament this year. If the winner gets a free expense paid trip to Berlin to play in the Worlds. Wow. So, there'll be world championships here for WizKids, for uh, Upper Deck, for Mayfair and other companies. So, there's large tournaments, but there's also the opportunity to go over there and learn how to play games. So, you can watch those games. And go, oh, I'm not sure I know how to play that. And the companies will be there to help teach you and demo those games to you and see if that's something you'd like to play. And it's a great learning experience, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. A lot of fun for everybody. Now, before we go, we were playing a zombie game, and right. you might have seen it before. Let's show them the weapons we would use. These are pretty cool, guys. If we were in the zombie apocalypse, what do you have there, John? I'm going to go with the sword. Sword? Gonna I'm going to gonna go, go with, with the, the big hammer because it's dual purpose, home improvement, and zombie bashing. So we'll show us some more. Maybe I'll get one for you, Adam and Maria, and a different one for Phil. We might get one for Phil. I don't know. You got to let me know if he's going to be safe with it or not. We're going to throw it back to you in the studio and keep playing. <laughs> okay, we are having a game day here on Good Day Columbus. Cameron Fontana is sitting down at the Origins Game Fair this morning to play a couple of games. What are you playing now? I have to tell you, this game, you throw people into a volcano. Is that the gist of it? That's the gist of it, yes. <laughs> you, you spend the first part of the game filling up Pompeii, and then you start laying down lava and running away as fast as you can. That's, that's pretty violent. <laughs> With me right now is Larry, the president of Mayfair Games, one of the main sponsors here at Origins Game Fair. How cool is it to be part of such a big event like this? It's, uh, it's interesting. It's not really like a real job. You know, you get to come in here and play games and then show people how to play games and then you get to go home and make new ones. <laughs> so, so how long have you been in the gaming industry? Uh, I started out as a demonstration person 25 years 
years ago and took over the presidency of this company 15 years ago. So promotion is, is available if you, want a, if you want a good job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so through the years, um, we'll, let's talk about this game first. So mm -hmm. kind of a quick condensed version. This is called The Downfall of Pompeii. The Downfall of Pompeii. And how long is this? A long game? No, is this it? is about 45 minutes maybe, up to four players. Uh, basically, you spend the first part of the game filling up Pompeii with, with, settle, with, with settlers and you relatives. You draw cards. You draw cards. You play where you're supposed to play. So you put people you know, here. put people all over the board. Okay. And then eventually, once the volcano card oh. comes up, you start laying down oh. lava. And lava. Lava. Lava starts coming out here on the board. I remember as kids, we used to try to stay off certain parts of the ground in the house to yes. avoid the lava. So well, this is like the real version this of This is the real version. And as, as the lava starts coming out, then you start trying to run away to the various exits. Uh, but of course, your opponents are trying to lay lava on yeah. top of you, in which case they can then drop you into the wow. volcano. So and people can play this game. Yes. And, and, you know, as we move forward, they can play your most popular game, the Settlers of Catan. Right? Settlers of Catan, yes. And this is next door. This is next door. This is all over the convention center. We've got carpet size versions, nine by okay. nine foot versions of this game. We've got all wood versions of this game around here. We've got the basic game here as well. But yes, this is our 21 year old most popular game. Most child. popular game. Yes. So if you're coming out to the Origins Game Fair, come play this game. You can check it out. It's a great time. Bring the family out. You can play board games like this and even get the chance to throw people into a volcano. Into a volcano. Back to you, Adam and Maria. Be Cut careful, Cam. Exactly. <laughs> Plus, Cameron Fontana is live at the Origins Game Fair. Good morning. We're checking out Yellow Games coming up next and their newest game, Fun Farm. Roll the dice. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Which one? No. Ooh. No, it's not that one. It's this one. Oh, this. No, you won it. Dang it. Check it out next. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. Happening today, gamers from all over Central Ohio are gathering in downtown Columbus. And Cameron Fontana, he's one of them. He's live at the Origins Game Fair this morning. Hey, Cam. Not yet. <laughs> Good morning, Adam and Maria. And to all of Columbus watching this morning, we are at the Greater Columbus Convention Center for the Origins Game Fair. And this is such a cool game. This is called Fun Farm. And with me is Keith from Yellow. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Thank you. Tell me the basic rules of this game, because we were playing and I was getting stressed out. Super simple. On your turn, you're going to put a card down. You're going to notice that there's two dice pictured on there, a black die and a white die. If it happens to match any animal, uh, any card, you grab the animal on the card. So in this case, you could grab the red horse. The red horse. If so. Or, yeah. And then you get the card for points. Get the card for points, but you also notice this matches the pig. If you're fast enough, you can grab that likely somebody oh. else will have grabbed it by then. Okay, so let's show them how let's show them how this is done. Let's keep them right there and you roll the dice and I'm going to see how quick I am. This is color coordination and animal coordination. Here we go. I'm going to go lefty. Go. Uh black white Bl uh pink. pink. Oh. But, no, red. See, and this game was originally for kids, right? But then adults got into it. Very much so and uh yeah, it's one of our best sellers at this show, and we've got a lot of adults and kids walking around, and everybody's picking it up. This is a fun game. You have to come check it out here at the Origins Game Fair. We're going to move right over here to another one of Yellow's games. Maria, I know you're going to enjoy this gentleman. This is Stefan. Hello, Stefan. Hello, Cameron. It, Thank you for being here today. Nice to meet you. Stefan, where are you from? Uh, I'm, uh, the accent is fake. I'm French, in fact. <laughs> you're French. So tell us right now, this is your most popular game. Can people play this game here? Yes, yes, we have a demo area and you can play all our games and this is definitely our, our best one. It's uh, called King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo. And uh, you are a giant kaiju monster fighting in, uh, in Tokyo trying to get the control of the city and you roll those big chunky dice and you attack each other and you try to kick each other out of the city. It's, uh, yeah. it's really fun. Very easy to understand. Very easy to quick, play. Quick rules and hours of fun. Hours of fun. So come out to the convention center today. There are hundreds upon hundreds of games here. They have an entire room next door full of tables that you can actually play all these games at. Their most popular games like this and even some of the simpler games like Fun Farm over there. Come check it out. What do you think of that accent, Maria? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Say, hello, Maria. What accent? Hello, Maria. Oh. Bonjour. <laughs> Thanks, Adam Maria. says Back bonjour. You. And you also can hang out with Cameron Fontana. 
Because he's there live right now at the Columbus Convention Center. Good morning, Cameron. Not so miniature. <laughs> Good morning. You know, no, we are very big compared to what we're about to talk about. The doors open at 10, and we're getting a preview of a lot of the games and the board games here. One of the most popular is miniature board gaming. And with me is Will from Zvezda. How are you doing, sir? Great. Having a wonderful time. How long have you been with the Origins Game Fair? I have attended every single fair since it started in Baltimore, Maryland. Wow. And is this the most exciting one yet? Because we're here. It ha well, because you're here, absolutely. There you go, because Good Day Columbus is here. Now tell me a brief overview for people that don't know the idea between you know miniature figures and how that plays into gaming. Well, the company itself started as a model kit company, uh, building models for tanks and, and everything else. And about four years ago, they decided to come out with a game of lines so you could use the figures and the models that you create to actually re uh, redo historical so battles. So like these and samurai like guys, they, they started attacking each other. Exactly. Ah. Um, in fact, this game here is, uh, uh, was, uh, last year won the Origins Award for Best Historical Board Game. Wow. Now, right over here, you know, we're going to wrap it up, but we have also games for the kids. There's a Cars and Planes version exactly. from Disney. Well, what we've decided is since we're a model kit company, we made models for all of the characters in the Cars movie and all of the characters in the Planes movie. Then we created a game so the kids can play with mom and dad or each other yeah. and recreate the car racing or the plane racing from the movie. So come out here to the Origins Game Fair again for the adults and even the kids. This is so exciting. The doors open at 10 and if you get here earlier, come say hi to us. Maybe we can play some. Would you like to play some games with some of our fans? Absolutely. Every Come one of them on. that comes by, will you bring the kids, they can play some games. They can be made or yeah, you, exactly. Back to you, Adam and Maria. We also hey, recreate the yeah, very popular. Popular. Yeah. <laughs> so good luck. Plus, Cameron Fontana is live at the Origins Game Fair. We are getting ready to play some zombie dice here at the Origins Game Fair. Don't go anywhere. Let's see if we can get some brains. How about that, Lenny? Do it. Get some brains. Oh, we got two. Yes. Two brains. Awesome. Happening today, roll the dice with friends at the Origins Game Fair. Good day, it's Cameron Fontana is live at the Columbus Convention Center. Good morning, Cam. What are you playing now? I don't even know. Brains. Brains. <laughs> Hi, Adam and Maria. We are at uh, Steve Jackson Games playing zombie dice. Zombie dice. And zombies are all the crave right now. I mean, everyone loves zombies. Mm. Uh, tell us about the premise of this game. How do you play? It's really simple. Yep, so you're zombies, and you're trying to get as many brains as you can. And people are trying to run away from you, right? Okay, so, you... so you're a zombie. Yep, got it. Okay. So you take these dice, and you roll them. And you try to get as many brains as you can. Actually, that's a really bad round for me. Because that's three shotgun blasts, which means you lose the round. You lose right. all your brains. Yeah, you lose all your brains. So the idea is you want to pick up as many brains as you can, right, before you get three shotgun blasts. And you can keep pushing your luck and rolling more dice. So three. you keep rolling three at a time. Right. And uh, if you get, if you stop before you get three brains, or before you get three shotgun blasts, then you get to keep all your brains. But if you get three shotgun blasts, then you're out. So it's the first to get thing. 13 brains. Yep between the different dice. And it's a really simple game, a fun game you can play in groups and at a party. Yep. And you guys even have a deluxe version, right? Yep. And that has a, a new uh, padded plastic dice cup and it has a score pad in it. Okay. Yep. Another very popular game from Steve Jackson Games is Munchkins, I hear. Yeah, now Munchkins. Let's, let's go right over here. We're going to show it. Tell us about, you have some events going on today revolved around this game. There's a whole world about this game. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. Munchkin is uh, one of our uh, most popular card games. It's been around for for, uh, over 10 years, and uh, the original illustrator, John Kovalik, is here at 2 o'clock at our booth, 201, and uh, he's going to be doing signings, and it's going to be awesome. We and you have something with a local bar, right? Yeah, we also have at the Boulevard Bar over at the Crown Plaza, we have the Munchkin Tavern, which is a themed sort of event space, and oh, we have cool. a, a themed menu and exclusive swag that you can get over there, and a prize wheel, and we make announcements there. It's super awesome. So you can jump into Munchkin World here at the Origins Game Fair and over at the Munchkin Tavern. Yep. Come out. The doors open at 10, but you can, there's people already starting to play the games next door. Mm -hmm. Come out, say hi, enjoy a great game of games with the family, and just, you know, have fun with some games, right? Absolutely. Let's go back to being zombies. Back to you guys. Brain. Make a good zombie. Brain. Cam, I don't know if you're going to find any brains here. <laughs> and good days. Cameron Fontana is live at the Origins Game Fair. Good morning, Cam. 
Good morning. We, you can see right behind us, all the people are making their way in. The doors are just opening here and all the players are here. Here's some things you need to know. John, tell us about the competitions going on today. All sorts of great tournaments. Mayfair Games has got their qualifier. The winner of the tournament today goes for their Worlds over to Europe. They get a free all-expense paid trip to Berlin. We've got national tournaments from WizKids, Upper Deck. Plus, we also have a huge Star City event, magic event this year. $75,000 in cash prizes for the winners this year. Then it's going to be awesome. Is family day, right? Correct. Families coming in. Family of four for $15. Come in. Go to the hall. Play demos of games. It's just a lot of fun for families who have never been here before. Wow. So rather than go to the movies, spend 60 bucks, spend $15 here playing games. And one of the games and tournaments you can play is this foam forged competition, right? Correct. We have competition. I'm going to give you the mic, and I'm jumping into this, representing GDC. Talk about this, John. This is a tournament that we have this year. There's a competition at the finals. We end up having someone who wins the tournament, and they win a big, huge shield and sword that says the Origins logo on it this year. Awesome. So what time will it end today? Uh, it'll be going on through the early evenings to about 6 o'clock tonight. Great. I'm gone. Oh. 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 Maria. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. He had one day left until retirement. Oh, there you go. He's oh, a well. goner. He's a good actor. <laughs> Thanks, Kim.